Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the sixth video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of filter and search. We have seen what are the different places where search function is available for ServiceNow and how do they work. And also we have seen the some very important wildcard search conditions which you can use uh, for your benefit for quick search result, right? And finally, we have seen how to create condition builder to get the specific record which you are looking for and also the breadcrumbs and we have seen how helpful they are and how you can quickly use it, right? So all of the things has been discussed in my previous video, guys. Don't worry. If you missed the video, I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen. Okay, so let's see what we are going to learn today. Okay. So today, all of these things will be done in demo. So we will first see about the menu. So today we will discuss about the context menu. What are the different menus available in ServiceNow and what are their functions? We will go few of them, like uh, how they work. Okay, very quickly, we are going to see about list control menu, column options menu, list field menu, form controls menu, form field menu, and finally, related list menu. I see the U and N has a space. Let it be. Okay, so this all these menus i'm going to show you and i'm going to ex explain you the options that are available on that let's go to the service now and let's start okay right now i am in my service now developer instance okay and i will go to the incident table now you may ask Pritam every time why you go to the incident table. So you can go to any of the table, like the change problem and any kind of stuff to experiment this. But I believe the incident one is the most common one and most easy to understand one. Okay. Uh, as because I haven't discussed about the problem and change the uh, table and what are they. So it's better to understand with the incident table concept. Again, the menus and stuff where everywhere it's the same. So let's go to the incident table with our shortcut that we know incident.list and press enter all right so here i am my incident table you can see right now the first menu that we are going to see is the list control menu right so this is the list control menu you can see list control so if i click on that first option we get here the view one so first of all this is the default view what you are seeing these things so you can change the view right for an example if i click on mobile so the mobile view will load and on the mobile view you can see we have less uh, field available okay uh, let's go to some other menu so let's go to the portal menu so portal menu has you know the formation of the field has been changed we have three fields now in the category number and the short description that's how the portal menu works so you can use different menus for different purposes here right the most of the time you are going to use the default menu but whenever you need certain uh, you know certain requirements then you can change the menu so from view we can change the different different menu you can go to the rest of the menu guys and check it out okay so I'll move to the filter one. Now here already you know uh, this is the use of this one. So this is a filter. And also if you save any filter that I have shown you, that was a very important thing that has been discussed on the last video. Like once creating a filter, how you can save it so that later you can apply that filter or later you can get the search result very quickly, right? You can see there is a thing called daily report if I click on that. So I believe this is the one we have created. Yes, this is the one we have created in our last video. So you can see directly you can go to the filter from this section. And also there are filters. You can directly click on that and that will be applied. Okay, for an example, if I click on active. So all the active uh, incident will come in and see the filter apply active is true. So it's pretty understandable, right? So again, I will go to the all section by clicking the breadcrumbs. So go to the menu, filter is done, then go to the group by. Now it is very, very important, the group by section. And again, this is something that's going to help you to, you know, very quickly see the result, right? So what would happen is that let me click on category, group by category. So now all the records you are seeing, now it has been divided into category. So suppose you want to wanted to see that how many hardware category was there out of the 64 and whatever the record was 68 total incident. So out of 68 total incident, how many records are there where category is hardware? So we can see 11 records are there where category is hardware. So even you can click on the button and you can get the details of all those ticket available, right? Isn't it a great function? So all the fields are available uh, for incident table, whichever field are available. So you can click on anything, any group by. 
section and you can check the details okay now i that gonna be a home tax for you so uh, open your service now developer portal and try to access it from different different group by section okay now let's move on now we have the show one now this is something it's very pretty simple now you can see the records are showing 10 of 10 so you can change it right 20 record how many records you want to see per page so let me quickly show you if i go to the all section here so now if i go to the show now you can see 20 records are showing out of 68 because the 20 rows per page has been selected so if i select 50 rows per page and now you see there are 50 records in the first page and then in the next page we have 18 right so this is how you can control this show field now refresh list is just a refresh of the list nothing but a refresh and finally you can create favorite so if you add this incident one in the favorite if i click on create favorite and maybe incidents uh, report just for a test and you can choose color whatever you want to do so maybe the yellow uh, no the green one and maybe incident one would be let's do this sign only we can choose any of the sign and let's save now it is saved as a favorite now if you go to the favorite section you see we have the incident report this one if i click on that it will just load the same page so you understand the importance of favorite so you can create a favorite from the list control menu okay so we have done with the list control menu now we will move into the column option menu right so this is the column option this is the column these are and if you move over the column you can see there is an icon so column option so you can click on this and the menu will appear so see the menu appeared now so we have few things here okay let's see so first one is shorting this is pretty simple short a to z or z to a so for an example let's short the uh, priority field so i want to see a to z first so you see the first one will come first and then we have two three four in this way and again if i just move to short z to a or z to a so you can see five priority five will come first okay this is pretty simple right so you can try also this shorting with other fields okay now next we have the show visual dashboard now this is the thing i'm not going to cover right now because we have a separate video for visual dashboard and which is going to be very important one okay now again like i was saying that we have the option in the menu uh, you can choose the group by option from any of the field from the incident table now here for an example if i on the state field now so i can directly click on group by state and the ticket will be grouped by state so it's the same thing right so if you go any of the field like group by category in the category so then you will get the option group by category and also right now there is a group so i can click on ungroup so i'll get all the details result again back okay so the group by option can be selected from list control menu or or the column option menu right now next one is the by chart uh, sorry the bar chart and the pie chart so this is you can do bar chart on pie chart from the record so from a report generally we do uh, so i just clicked on the bar chart it would take some time because we have many records so and especially spe like we said that we have done in the on the report so you can see the report module has come up and the report is loading and we, we can see based on the incident count we have here based on the state closed progress and it is showing in the bar chart okay now don't worry we will discuss more about this when we'll create a report and stuff like that report section so let's get back let's not save it so but you can practice it anytime so we have also pie chart so you can go and try this pie chart and then we have this one launch interactive analysis so if i click on that so you can see the, this is another report view where you can get more the information right how many tickets are in progress how many are high and also closed in progress status based on the uh, filters you can add filter here and you can control it okay again this is something is pretty simple so it is showing group by state now so i'll just group by the maybe the assignment group now the report will load again and now it will show me all the report in a, you know in a better view you are getting right there you, you have the group by option and there you have the more analysis so that's why this field is called as interactive analysis so i'll go back again but again you need to explore it by going to this option and create things stuff like that save this thing okay now we have the configure option now here mo i mean these are the things will be covered in a different different video like you can see business rules ui policy data policy ui action these will all cover in the customized 
customization section of the service now and the list layout and list control all of the things i will do in the next video where we will see how we can modify list and forms okay now we can put record import record from in service now and we can also export so for export we have excel csv xml json pdf we can export in different different section now here uh, now if we need to do any update if things are selected so we can do the update there are no rows selected you can see so first you have to select a row and then you can click on the update selected so that's something again you can practice uh, update all again create application files so from here you will directly create application files then we have you know show the xml the record in service now how it is stored in the xml format so you can see the documentary below this is the xml file okay just to show you no need to remember and go anything so this is the from con control uh, all the column option menu right and finally we have the field option menu now this is very very interesting quick so this is the list field menu uh, this is very very interesting so now if you can go to any of the field and for an example the priority this one priority field and this record i can right click on it and there would be a menu you can see there is a menu appearing now here you can click on show matching and this is very very important shortcut guys now if i want to see only the priority 5 record so i need to go to the filter i need to choose on the incident pri sorry the priority and then priority is 5 now very quickly i can just click on the 5 priority option and then right click show matching now out of 68 record i get 20 record where all the records are 5 and see the same filter has already been applied priority is planning 5 so very quickly again if i want to let's let's close this let's go back to the human again i want to see the category where it's only network so right click show matching so if i click on that you see i will only get the incidents where only get the records where category is network isn't it interesting okay now next we have the filter out so this is for an example now let me go to the let's in, it is in the all section okay so i will go to the plan 5 priority planning right click on it and i'll click on filter out now you will see what's the filter apply so it will it is showing all the priority where priority is not 5 it will show 4 3 2 1 but not 5 so by choosing filter out also you can quickly apply this okay again these are the things you need to practice a lot then we have copy url to clipboard so this is just the record copy again you can copy the sys id so we have discussed about this sys id right so it's a global unique id and we will discuss more about it in later you can assign tag here like what is this about you can archive this record you can assign to you directly this record so if i click on the record and assign to me so it would be assigned to system administrator just to show you click on assign to me and you see this is the record where assigned to field has been assigned to system administrator right next we have follow on live feed this is not that important show live feed and add to visual task board that we will do later now i will go open any of the record to visit the form view so this is the form view guys and here we can check the menu from the form so now here we have the main menu okay that's the form control menu so if i click on here we have a lot of option here save for saving the record uh, visual task board again copy incident that's so to copy the incident so for an example if i copy this incident so another incident will be created but you can see the short description description all these things become same that's how copy incident work okay let's go back so after copy incident we have outage we can create outage again I, I, all of these things outage request child incident normal chain standard chain will be discussed in a different all together videos but i am trying to show you these are the menu where, where you can directly create a problem from the incident because incident is record is important for a problem create a request from here normal change and everything <clears throat> again we have the configure option same we have on the column option menu right again you can export this record you can view it in a different different uh, viewing option okay you can create favorite this incident copy the url sys id show xml history and reload form reload form will just load this form okay okay we have done with that now we will see form field menu so there are the fields in the form right these are the fields in the form where it's showing the record 
so you can click on any of the field and being administrator you can right click on it and you can go configuring level configure dictionary configure styles each of these things we will discuss like that for the dictionary we have all together separate video how you can configure things for an example just to show you configure dictionary if i click on it okay so this is a dictionary it is open so you can see this is a uh, from table task this incident is coming it is type string con column ne uh, level number that's why it is showing number so if we change it it will show in a different way this is a column name so all of these things we'll discuss just to show you how it looks like okay so you can control everything like i said 90 percent of the things you can configure in service now okay now so again you can click on any of the you can see so you can click on show impact this option and we'll show you what is a table name what is a field name what is the type integer integer means you can store only the number things right so this is how this menu configured now if i scroll down and the last menu that we have the related list menu so you can see there is a menu i symbol here from there you can filter or you can refresh the list so this is all about the menu guys now if you are wondering pritam what was the dictionary and what was the all other thing configure that we haven't discussed so don't worry all these things will be discussed in a separate separate video so that you can understand it so that i can give my whole time to give you the uh, whole idea about configuring table and different stuff policies and things okay so this is it for today's guys if you have any doubt or any question please ask me in the comment section if you find it the video helpful hit on the like button and don't forget to share with your friends and families in the next video we will see how we can use modify modification of list and form okay so see you in my next video bye bye take care